Hey guys, this is Carpe Librum and today I will be doing the How I Read tag. One. How do you find out about new books to read? I predominantly find out through the booktube community. It's very accessible and I enjoy looking at book hauls and bookshelf tours and that's where I find the bulk of new books. However, sometimes I'll just go into a bookstore and browse around and then I find something new. Even just like from my mum and my some of my friends, I can find out new books too. Two, how did you get into reading? Okay, well, as I was growing up, um, my mum pushed me and my brother to read. My brother didn't really pick up on it, but I picked up on it and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I read books like Harry Potter and it just really made me passionate about reading. I grew up in an environment where reading was encouraged, so I was really lucky for that because otherwise I probably wouldn't be as interested in reading as I am now. I probably would have turned out like my brother who doesn't read very much at all. So I'm thankful that I didn't turn out like that because I love reading so much. Three. How has your taste in books changed as you've gotten older? I wouldn't say my taste in books has changed. If anything, it's just a little less closed-minded because now I'm open for anything because I've read so many different books. Like I still enjoy reading children's books and I love fantasy. It's just become a lot more well-rounded because I took extension English in high school and that opened up the dystopian book world to me and I never even knew what dystopian was or the word totalitarianism and like I read books like Brave New World and Neuromancer and Honestly, I love them. I've just taken in a lot more different book. I'm less scared to try new things in my reading. Overall, it's just a lot better than it was. Four, how often do you buy books? Ugh. Oh. I don't know. Honestly, if I see something when I'm out, I'll get it. If I find something cheap, I'll get it. For my birthday, I'll get it. Christmas, I'll get it. You know what I mean? It Sometimes it seems like it's nothing, but a lot of the times it's a lot, so I can't really answer that question at all. It's a bit of a ridiculous question. Five. How did you get into booktubing? Okay, so I'm on YouTube. Randomly looking up closet tours and beauty videos, you know, gaming videos, bit of everything. And then I come across a bookshelf tour. I'm thinking, oh, okay, I like books, I like to read, let's check it out. I find myself for the next, like, four hours watching just booktube videos. I didn't even know booktube was a thing. People like Katie Tastic, The Readables, Price is Wong, everyone, seriously, just, I couldn't stop watching. And I just wanted to be like them. I was like, people are listening to what they're saying about books. I want to say stuff about books and have people listen to me. So predominantly I thank Katie Tastic. She is a big influence in this and I just think she's amazing, hands down. Six, how do you react when you don't like the end of a book? I'm not gonna lie, I get pretty angry. <laughs> um, it'll really put a damper on the whole book. I don't think I've ever hated an ending but there's been times when I've wanted something else to happen, so it's kind of made me dislike the book, kind of a bittersweet feeling toward it. So, you know, I've never, I don't think I've ever cried because of a book actually, which makes me sound pretty hard and mean, but books tend to make me really angry instead of really upset. Like they make me feel a million emotions, but I've never cried. I've, I've like thrown a book, but I've never, like, cried on a book. Endings make me angry if I don't like them, <laughs> basically. Seven, how often do you take a sneaky look at the back page of a book to see if it's a happy ending? I never do that, ever. Like, I've never done it, and I probably never will. However, I do like flipping to the back of a book, firstly to see how many pages it is, because I like knowing, but also because I like looking at the final word, because I think 
but the final word of a book can mean so much. So if I say like a name, I'll think who is this person? They stay throughout the book kind of thing. I don't know. I just, it's a bad habit, but I enjoy knowing the last word of a book before I've even started it. So I'm weird, but whatever. Eight. How many people are you going to tag and who are they? I'll just tag anyone who's watching and anyone who wants to do it because I'm fresh at booktubing so I don't think anyone's really going to do the tag because of me but here's hoping I would like to watch them though so if you want to do one do one and yeah okay guys that was the how I read tag I will see you later in my next video hope you enjoyed and goodbye